Hey, what's up YouTube? Jeremiah Hersey here, and this is the fifth video in my six-part series I'm doing on virtual tables. Today, it's all about the summarize function. Now, the summarize function is one of the original functions from DAX, and so with it, it has some capabilities that I want to talk about, but I want to make this very, very clear. You do not want to add columns using the summarize function, although it has the availability. If you want to add columns to a summary table, you want to use the summarize columns function, which we'll talk about in the next video, or you want to use a combination of the add columns function with summarize. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the demonstration. If you want to download the file and follow along, just click the link down below and you can download that file. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So here I am inside of the Power BI desktop and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new table here. All right, and we'll go ahead and call this the summarize table. I'm gonna hit shift enter to drop me down to the next line. And so as we start typing in summarize, we're gonna see that it creates a summary table grouped by specific columns. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to uh, summarize the sales table and we're going to group it by the product color. Now, we're also going to add a column just to show you it has the functionality, but you do not want to use it. I want to recommend that you use the summarize columns function if you want to add columns to a summary table, which once again, we'll talk about this function here in the next video. Today we're gonna to use the summarize function though. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit tab here. The first table, uh, what table are we going to summarize? Well, in this case, I'm gonna summarize the sales table. All right, and so we're gonna summarize the sales table. It's gonna allow us to group it by specific columns. And so the column that I wanna group it by is the product color. So I'm gonna call it to the product table and to the color column. So this would create a summarized version of the sales table with the product color. Now, once again, if we wanted to properly add columns, we would use either a combination of add columns with this summarize function, or we would use the summarize columns function, which we'll talk about in the next video. But it does have the capability, so I want to show that off to you, but it is not recommended that you create additional columns this way. So I'm going to hit a comma here, I'm going to hit shift enter, and I'm going to put double quotes here and call this the sales column. Once again, this is not the recommended method of adding columns to a summary table. It is recommended to use the summarize columns function. And so we're just going to call out to our total sales measure that we have here. And so this is gonna create a summarized version of the sales table based on product color. All right, so we'll go ahead and return that to see what we get here. And so we can now see that we have our table grouped by color. And as we talked about in the last video, we can see that the data lineage is preserved, meaning it is able to filter down that information. I'm just gonna put a little note in here. This is not the recommended method. Use summarize columns function. And so as we understand that the, the summarize function is going to create a summary of the input table based on a column that we choose, if we wanna ever add any additional columns, we wanna make sure that we use the summarize columns function, which once again, we'll talk about in the next video. I wanna thank you so much for joining me. And once again, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And look out for the last video in this series talking about summarize columns, which is gonna show us the proper way to add columns to a summary table. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.